Hey guys, when we published the transparent salaries uh, on the open blog, there was a lot of interesting conversation, a lot of discussion, uh, kind of why have we done that, and, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of questions. So we thought it might be interesting to address some of them and maybe m most fundamentally to begin with, what, what would you say is the, the key reason we even ended up with uh, open salaries? Yeah, I think we, um, we did a number of different things transparently. We published our user numbers. We would always share revenue openly with anyone that asked. And uh, I guess then you know, we set down transparency as a core value for the company. And then once we'd done that, we just wanted to go through one by one, through everything, right? And, um, and uh, salaries was one of those key things that we found that you know, we questioned ourselves, why are we not transparent about this? So mm. I think um, you know, on, a, on a higher level, why, transpar why transparency at all? I guess we just believe that that's the kind of the right thing to do. Um, there's no reason to, to hide anything, and it, it keeps us very honest, and, and it helps us to reflect on things that we need to change sooner than maybe we would otherwise. Right? Yeah, it makes us live up to a higher standard in general because we feel like, well, if anyone could see it, we want to be, you know, be able to have it, you know, have a sound reasoning behind it. Yeah. In a way. Maybe you want to share a little bit about, you know, what does transparent salaries even mean? Like, oh yeah, what's our, how do we do that? What, you know, how does it work and stuff? That's a good one. Yeah. So the way it works is that we we've come up with a formula. We try to be as mathematical as possible when we created that, um, so that every every person that joins Buffer, you know, no matter which position, can be engineer, can be you know, happiness hero, can be content crafter. Uh, they, you know, we have like buckets that they fall into based on, you know, partially it's you know. Uh, the initial, you know, base salaries, and then we include location in there. And like, if someone lives, you know, somewhere where rent is really expensive, they get paid more. Yeah. Someone lives somewhere where not so much the other way, uh, and, and and so that's kind of like the um, how the formula works in a uh, yeah. in a broad sense. And everyone who joins, or even anyone who's watching this, could probably you know Google Buff Open Salaries and find out their own salary uh, that they would uh, they would get right yeah. now if they would join us. So that that's yeah. kind of like how. How we you know, do it? Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess you know, one of the most interesting also is when you know, we started to make this implement open in transparent salaries. It's like kind of the side, si yeah. almost side effects that happened that yeah. we didn't anticipate. We didn't do it because of that. Right. No. We didn't um, realize that to begin with. But it was most interesting to see. I guess that to me personally, that the negotiation. Maybe you, mm. I don't know how you've. I think it's you've been very um, a very pleasant surprise yeah. that we don't have any negotiation, right? Mm. And I guess that partly comes with the combined fact that we um, hire very selectively based on culture fit yeah. as well. So um, it's not. I think if it was only transparent salaries and we didn't, you know, have such a high bar on culture fit, then maybe people would come and they wouldn't necessarily know, and then they would try and negotiate. But how it works with us is, I guess, that we get people that. You know, by the time they've approaching us, the people that are really good fit, yeah. um, they know everything about the culture, and they know that transparency is and transparent salaries is a core part of the culture. So they don't um, kind of question that. They know that that's so core, and that that's something that you know it can't really change. Exactly. Although we changed the formula, right? Yeah, we changed the formula. We always try. We changed it recently. We always try to, um, you know, if it, if the salary goes down for any existing. Um, person according to the formula, we try to keep it so we grandfather them. Is yeah. I think the term that yeah. I think that yeah. that's used for like product development. Yeah, and yeah. we have to change the formula from time to time because, yeah. um, you know, but that's partly w one of the reasons why it's transparent is that um, we learn a lot about the about the formula, whether it's yeah. go good, whether it works, and so um, by putting it out there, we learn some of the things that aren't working about it, right? And yeah. then we can, you know, make those uh, adjustments. So. We've done that recently and, and made it a change. Yeah. Mainly for the people going forward, right? And yeah. So that it affects, affects only those, obviously. Um, I think another thing that's really interesting is that, you know, if, if you keep salaries, you know, uh, acquired, or, or at least that's what we heard, you know, I've never actually, you know, this is my, uh, the first you know, time I've actually really been in a company, um, which is also yeah. uh, a bit lucky. Um, but we've heard is that you know oftentimes you know if this is quiet then you know over lunch you discuss it like you know it's like oh how much do you make and then you find out and a person makes twice as much as you and it's in the same position so a lot of these like discussions are like office politics I think we yeah. 
we kind of avoid as yeah. well through that. Yeah. At least I think I think we do. Yeah, yeah, that's also a great benefit. Mm. But yeah, I think that's kind of the some of the key yeah. things. Awesome. Let, let us know if you have any questions. Um, just post a question in the comment, and we'll we'll get back to you on that.